A big two-headed lion is roaring at its prey, the three-tailed cat. They start to fight and someone is watching them from behind the tree. He is thinking of taking action after both animals are exhausted. And that person is our MC, Ikwe, who got transmigrated into that world. A couple of days ago, he confessed his love to the goddess in his mind. But unexpectedly he was rejected in person and even laughed at. Disheartened, he was about to leave the city. And while crossing the road, a little girl ran by his side, trying to catch a cat. Suddenly a car came straight at them. He saved the girl but he was bye-bye from that world. Luckily this time, it was not truck cun but a luxurious looking sports car. He bleed to death and no one in that street even cared to call an ambulance. Look at them, they are just walking like he doesn't even exist. Luckily for him, he got transmigrated to this world where the two cats are fighting. And like any other transmigrator, he also got a system. At first, he thought that he would kill monsters and keep solo leveling up. And when he reaches the peak and becomes the shadow monarch, he will conquer the whole world. Not only the world but even beauties after reaching the pinnacle of turtle life. And this was the moment that he finally realized that he f up. He has turned into a turtle, not a human but a turtle. He doesn't want to be a turtle, he wants to be a human. The system notifies him that the system is a devouring system synthetic evolution system. And it cannot be activated by human races. And if he wants to be a human, the system gets ready to generate the most basic human identity for him. But he will lose the system. But he doesn't want to lose his system and apologizes for being rude with it. The fight between the cats is still going on. The three-tailed cat snaps one of the lion's head. The lion has also bitten off one of the three-tailed cat's tails. The three-tailed cat retreats and she is trying to protect her babies. But to protect her babies, she gets ready to go all out. And seeing this chance, he gets ready to jump into the fight, and he attacks the two-headed lion. He charges straight at the lion's mouth. However, the lion bites him before he can enter inside the lion's mouth. The system activates one of his skills, counterattack. The lion's teeth break into pieces. He enters inside the lion's body. He starts to tear whatever he can find inside. After some time, he has killed the lion and has gained one experience point. He is happy to get that one experience point. He adds 0.5 in his attack, 0.3 in his speed, and 0.2 in his defense. Now all his attributes have reached level 2. The system notifies him that he can break through to the second level. He breaks through to the next realm successfully. He then comes outside of the lion's body, spreads his hands, and embraces this beautiful feeling of reaching level 2, and the power of level 2. Now he is done with the lion, he gets ready to take care of the cat, and the poor cat is begging to show some mercy. The cats are so cute that the heart of the turtle gets melted, and those two little pussy behind their mother, they are just too cute, so he gets ready to spare them, and hopes that he won't see them in the future, otherwise, he will have to kill them. Then the system notifies him that a level 4 monster is approaching from the left. This super shocked him because he is just a level 2 monster and fighting a level 4 is just impossible for him right now. So he tugs his tail inside his shell and runs down the mountain like his life is on the line. Apologizes to the cat mother and cat babies that he couldn't save them. Even though, he showed them his mercy. But that level 4 is just too much for him to handle. Running down that mountain, he can hear the painful screams of mother cat and baby cats. Next, in the evening, outside the outskirts of the monster forest, he is in his cave thinking about the strategy to survive for tomorrow because there are too many high-level monsters there. He checks his status, and after killing many monsters he has finally reached level 2. But he doesn't know how strong he is, now that he is level 2. He gets ready to find a level 3 monster tomorrow to check his strength. Then the system notifies him that level 2 and level 1 wild monsters have appeared, 500 meters behind him. He comes to check it and is surprised to see that it's not monsters, but humans. He wonders if the system is calling those humans wild monsters because he is a monster and humans are wild monsters to him. And those humans are there to find some 200-year-old ginseng. And these humans have some big plans. After finding this 200-year-old ginseng, they get ready to sell it at a high price and buy some bottles of top-grade Datura poison to poison Zhu Linglu's parents to death and make the entire Zhu family theirs and make Zhu Linglu their toy. And to make her into their toy, the old man has already prepared a bottle of enchanting dew that will make her beg for mercy in front of them. He gets mad after hearing such a vicious plan of those two. He gets ready to kill these two and rob their ginseng. And after eating that ginseng, he will go to rescue that beauty. They find the ginseng. Just when the man gets ready to dig it out, the old guy notices something. He tries to warn his friend about the monster that just appeared. But it was already too late for that man. 
Yi finished him with his tiny wolverine claws. The old man was shocked to see that he couldn't even see the monster. It was just too fast for his naked eyes to catch. He is sure that the monster is at least at level 3. He escapes from there, and Yi lets him leave for now, and after eating the ginseng, he gets ready to go after that man. After consuming that ginseng, he gets one experience point. He didn't expect to gain one experience point from just eating ginseng. He adds it to his attack to level up to level 3. The system notifies him that he has successfully reached level 3, and has activated the secret technique Riot. When activated this secret technique all his attributes will be increased by 50% for one minute. But the cooldown is 3 days, and after listening to those two from before, he realized that there was someone powerful behind them, who wants to take over the zoo family, and something big is going to happen soon and he is going to take advantage of that and save the damsel in distress from those thugs. If you guys are enjoying then please do 1k likes for part 2 and also subscribe to the channel. Next, the old guy comes to his master and informs him about what happened the other night when he went to search for the 200-year-old ginseng. His master, also the butler of the zoo family, scolds him for doing something like that and almost jeopardizes his plan. After scolding that guy, the head butler leaves from there. The man also gets ready to go to the temple to burn some incense because many bad things have happened to him in the past few days. He puts his herbs bucket in that room and leaves from there, not knowing that there was something inside his bucket. He comes out from the bucket and he didn't expect the head butler to be the mastermind behind those two men. Then he notices something. He is in the warehouse of the zoo family where they gather all their precious herbs. The scent of those herbs is making his mind go blank. After some time, he has eaten everything in that warehouse. The system notifies him that he has gained 0.5 experience points from the ginseng he has eaten. He has gained a lot of points, so he adds one, one point to his attack, defense, and speed. And now all his attributes have reached to four. The system notifies him that he is breaking through to the, the fourth level. And he has also gained some new skills after reaching the fourth level. He gets ready to check his skills, then suddenly the system notifies him that many high-level wild monsters are appearing from behind and he should avoid them. He escapes from there. He never thought the zoo family to have these many high-level wild monsters in their house. He then comes to a place where a lady is asking her young miss to wash slowly. Hearing the word miss, he is sure that it must be Zhu Leng Lu. He gets ready to take a peek at that great beauty those two humans were talking about. But there is no one inside that room, only a bathtub. Then the beauty emerges from the tub, and her beauty is even making this virgin turtle making that pervert face. She notices someone's presence outside the window and asks who is there. He climbs up the window and informs her that his name is Ikwe, a hero who has come to save her. But there is a language barrier and all she can hear is a bow bow from Mr. Hero, the ninja turtle. However, she finds him very cute and gives him a big hug. Warning, don't hug a turtle or it will snap your neck. He notices that he is a turtle and that she can't understand him. However, with this soft feeling, he can understand it. What is this feeling is, the lady from earlier comes there and informs Linglu to get dressed because some bad guys have entered the house. She comes outside, and her father and mother comes to her running and informs her to leave from there as quickly as possible. He gives her some stuff and asks her to leave right away. He orders the lady servant to take care of his daughter, and his daughter is confused thinking about what is going on there. But it was too late, the bad guys had already caught up to them, and the butler ordered his man to kill Zhu Linglu, and the servant lady. And Linglu is confused thinking why their butler is doing something like this. One guy jumps at her with his weapon. The servant lady comes in front to save her young miss. She manages to save her young miss but she dies in the process, in her last breath. She asks her young miss to hurry up and leave from there. But it's too late for her to leave now, the man gets ready to have some fun with her before killing her. But not so fast, she still has her little turtle, and he attacks the guy with his head in a lightning speed. And he is not letting a mere fourth level to touch his beauty, and that attack of his seems like it has done some damage to that man. More of the men comes to assist the man and finish the lady and her turtle. He quite gets ready to use his new skill and see how strong is this new skill of his is. The skill was very powerful. One strong energy wave from it all those bad guys went flying in the air, and are all knocked out. Ling Lu is shocked and couldn't believe her eyes that her little turtle is this strong. Then suddenly, Yi Kue starts to get notification of strong wild monsters coming his way. He grabs Ling Lu's clothes and tells her that they have to run from there because the people who are coming right now, he can't fight them. After some time, Yi have brought Ling Lu to the monster forest, but he is not going deeper into the forest thinking that might be dangerous because Ling Lu is with him. He brings her to his cave. She starts to cry because she just lost her father, mother and her loyal servant. 
Yi tries to comfort her but she can't understand him. However, seeing him comforting her like that, she grabs him, hugs him, and starts to cry saying that she only has him. After crying for some time, she has fallen asleep, and someone is struggling to come out from those two big melons. He finally comes out and gets a fresh air. And now that she has fallen asleep, he gets ready to go out and level up, or it will be too dangerous if there is an opponent that he can't beat in the future. And now he also has his heroine with him, so it's only right for him to go out and level up so that he can protect her tomorrow. After some time, Yi has killed many monsters in that forest and have also understood something. That the monsters or the wild monsters of the same level he killed, he will only get one experience point from them. And those with one realm lower will only give him 0.5 experience point. On the contrary, if he kills someone of higher level, he gets two experience points. And he can only store three points right now. He gets ready to add these points and level up to another level. The system congratulates him on reaching 5, and he has also get some new skills and one of his skill called the Ancient God Swallowed the Scripture has level up, and he is happy to see that. Then he hears a scream, he notices that it's the sound of his heroine, it seems like someone has attacked his beauty, and it's not only one, but there are three people, they starts to tear her clothes and they have also heard that her zoo family has been destroyed, and there is no one coming to save her now. She calls for her little turtle to help her, an attack comes straight at that guy. Hits him right on his face, his men are shocked because they couldn't even see the attack coming. The ninja turtle is mad, they dared to touch his girl in his absence. The system notifies him that he has killed a level 5 wild monster, and has gained one experience point, and his rock seal proficiency has increased by 15. The guards are shocked because their young master was killed in one hit. He orders his men to finish that turtle and that lady. They jumps at the lady and her turtle with their big sword, he stops their attacks with his bare hands and even break their swords, seeing that the bad guy starts to get scared and gets ready to run away from there. He also informs them that if they attack again, he will not spare their lives. But, before sparing them, he gets ready to give them some good beating. The bad guys are shocked because their naked eyes can't even see that turtle's attack. He is just too fast, mistakenly he hits the guy in his chest resulting in his death. Since he was a level 6 wild monsters, he gains 2 experience points from him. He then shows his sharp fang at the last man standing. The last man standing runs from there. You let that guy go because he is too lazy to chase him. Ling Lu then gives him a big hug for saving her life again. He apologizes that he arrived a little late, and with this incident he realizes that it's dangerous for Ling Lu even in the outskirt of the monster forest. So he gets ready to take her to the middle region of the forest, and to do that he has to get strong. He gets ready to level up faster as soon as possible. But, she can't walk around the forest in that clothes. He gets ready to check if there are any other clothes in that dead man's storage ring. After some time, in the middle region of the monster forest and in some certain cave, he has brought Ling Lu to a place where there is a bath pool. And Ling Lu is surprised that her little turtle is so awesome. There is nothing he can't do and he also knows about this awesome place in the middle of the monster forest. And seeing how he risked his life to protect her and even comfort her, she gets ready to repay him with her body if he was a human. Now this is motivating him to do more things for her, because there will be time when he will be able to transform into human and at that time, he will definitely want this payment of hers. Next, he starts to check the storage rings of the people he killed earlier, and there are many medical herbs and other materials in those rings. He starts to eat the herbs because he wants to reach level 10 as soon as possible. Ling Lu comes there asking if he likes to eat medical herbs. This beautiful scene in front of his eyes is too much for him to handle. He gives her the clothes to put on quickly, and she is surprised that her little turtle is feeling embarrassed. She then informs him that she also has some medical herbs and if he likes to eat them, she can give them to him. She takes out all the medical herbs she was carrying with her, and those were given to her by her father in case of emergency. She laughed at them for worrying too much but didn't expect that she would use them this quickly. As a thank for saving her, she gives him a top-tier herb, and also a kiss as his reward. He informs her not to worry and now that he has got her herbs, he will definitely protect her. She is surprised to see the little turtle blushing and is finding it very cute. After some time, Ling Lu has fallen asleep, and he is checking his stats, and is surprised to see that this newly awakened skill of his, the ancient god swallowing scripture reaches 20, he can communicate with all the monsters. Then suddenly his head starts to hurt. This new skill starts to integrate with his body. He understood what he should do with this skill and how he should use it in the future. The knowledge this skill has is very vast, that's why. 
His head hurts. He is happy to gain such an amazing skill which can swallow all things in the world and turn them into you in power. He gets back to eating the herbs so he can level up as soon as possible. The system notifies him about the experience points that he is gaining from eating those herbs. Next, the guy who escaped from me have returned back with his young master's body to his lord. And the lord is super mad because someone actually dared to kill his son, they are looking for their death. The lord asks the man who killed his son. Now the man is confused about how to inform his lord that a little turtle killed their big young master. The man trembling in fear informs his lord that it was the demon pet of Ling Lu, a demon turtle and it was so powerful that none of them could match its power. This angered the lord even more because it was a pet who killed his son. He orders his men to go to the monster forest and hunt down Ling Lu and her demon pet turtle. A man in the mask comes there and informs the lord that he doesn't need to send his men that deep into the forest. The lord is confused because this is his first time seeing this man. The man informs him that who he is is not important but they have the same goal. Zhu Ling Lu and her pet. The lord doesn't care who kills those two all he wants is their death that's all. Next, in the deepest region of the monster forest, he is fighting with Bagheera. He kills Bagheera with some strong attack of his. Now, he has reached to level 7. And killing that 8th level monster, he has gained 2 experience points. He adds those points to his new skill, the ancient god swallowing heaven scripture. Now he can communicate with monsters, and when this skill reaches to 50 he can communicate with all living beings. He starts to wonder what will he talk with Zhu Ling Lu after he can speak to her. He starts to wonder how will she react when he informs her that he actually understand everything she said to him before. And he also heard her promise of repaying with her body, and he hopes that she will fulfill that promise of hers. He then gives her a smooch. The system then notifies him that many high-level monsters have appeared 900 meters behind him. This shocked him. He wonders if they came here for Zhu Ling Lu, then he hears a roar from behind the mountain. Now he is getting scared thinking why the monster king appeared now. The monster king seems to be fighting with some humans. This shocked he even more because those humans risk their life to come to this deep in the monster forest and are even fighting with the monster king. This just confirmed his suspicion that they came there for Zhu Ling Lu. He comes closer to check those humans. One guy jumps at the monster king with his sword and struck the monster king in his neck. Monster King notices that these bunch of humans are stronger, so he escapes from there. The other gets ready to chase that Monster King. But the man who struck the Monster King stops them and informs them that they should focus on their mission. On the other hand, he is thinking to seize this chance and finish that Monster King. The Monster King have already suffered some serious damage from those humans. He is sure that he can finish that Monster King all by himself. He comes to the Monster King's den the Monster King notices him and he also notices that he can understand him. And it's thanks to Yi's new skill. The Monster King gets ready to eat Yi to recover some energy. On the other hand, the bad guys have found his heroine, Zhu Ling Lu. Zhu Ling Lu is shocked and mad because their most trusted head butler betrayed them and destroyed her family. The butler informs her about the reason why he destroyed her family. He informs her that it's all because of her. She found a 3,000-year-old horse chestnut and wanted to donate it. She is surprised that just because of that he destroyed her family. This makes her super mad and starts to yell at that old butler, which makes the butler mad too. Then a scream comes out from the cave. The monster king is screaming in pain because his teeth almost fell off because of that little turtle. He is confused thinking why is it that difficult to kill that little monster. The monster king gets ready to attack Yi again. Yi also gets ready to counter attack. He starts to attack the Monster King but his attacks are not doing that much damage. Since his attacks are not dealing any damages to the Monster King, he gets ready to change his strategy. And the Monster King is super furious now, he activates his Riot skill. All his abilities increases by 50%. He becomes even faster which surprises the Monster King. He jumps at the Monster King and attacks his eye. Monster King also strikes him back slamming him on the ground. But the Monster King have lost his one eye. The system informs Yi that he still has 30 seconds left. He gets ready to use his Turtle Ninja power, jumps straight at the Monster King's mouth. Next thing the Monster King notices, his enemy is inside him. Monster King starts to struggling in pain because that enemy of his is tearing his meat from inside. Now the Great Monster King is getting scared. He doesn't want to die like this, getting killed by a monster that is not even one-tenth of his size. After some time, the Monster King is dead. The system notifies him that he has breakthrough to level 10, and he has got something called the qualification to return to his ancestors. He gets ready to return to his ancestors and after that he will go back to see Zhu Ling Lu. But it seems like he won't be seeing her anymore, she is breathing her last breath. No man, his heroine is about to die. 
Next, an hour ago, in the cave where Zhu Ling Lu is, the butler comes to her and whispers something into her ear. She gets shocked to know that the elder named Zhu Longfeng of her Zhu family was the one behind all of this. She gets mad at the butler for lying to her saying that the elder Longfeng is the mastermind behind the destruction of her Zhu family. She then gets an attack that cuts her stomach. After cutting her with that knife the old butler then licks the blood of the knife without worrying about the danger he might get from licking other people's blood. She informs him that he will get retribution for doing something like that to her family. But he doesn't care about the retribution because there is no one coming to give him that retribution. He picks up the zoo family's assembly order Jade. And with this Jade, the tribesmen and the slaves who escaped from the zoo family that night. He can catch them all with the help of that jade, a message from that jade and everyone will regroup in one place. He is happy not only did they destroy the zoo family but also get the 3000 year old herb. He then gets a hit which breaks three of this teeth and even send him flying and slamming onto the wall. The hero comes there doing the superhero landing. He apologizes to Ling Lu for coming late and making her suffer like this. But all Ling Lu can hear is Chiba Chiba, a bow a bow and she is confused to see who is this guy who have come to save her. She couldn't recognize him and asks if he is her little turtle. He informs her that he is her little turtle but she can't understand him. The butler orders his men to finish the pet demon turtle of Ling Lu. He safely puts her down saying he will deal with those bad guys first. Now he is super mad. They hurt his woman while he was away hunting. He gets ready to give them a painful death. He attacks them with some kind of blue energy and does another superhero landing. The two men starts to suffer in pain and just like that they meet their demise. He then gets ready to take care of that old dog too. He uses another of his blue attacks, he finishes all three of those bad guys. And seeing him risking his life to save her and that figure, she finally recognizes him that he is her little turtle, and gives him a big hug. The big man is woman, and the woman is confused about why he changed his appearance. He informs her that this evolution of his is called avatism, and after devouring the beast king he has turned in San Earth Dragon and return to his ancestors with great abilities. But all she can hear is a ba ba nad chiba chiba. She really wants to understand what he is saying. Then her hand falls on the ground, which surprises Ikwe. He gets ready to check what is wrong with her, then notices a big wound on her stomach. This shocked him almost break his heart. He screams in pain shouting out her name. He promises that he will help her kill her enemies, and her enemies are his enemies now. Man, look at that cute rage in his eyes. Next, he gets ready to transfer to some safe place, a different space realm that he got after he reached level 10. He brings her to that place, and it's called Gixu Divine Realm, a sub-space where he returned to his ancestor, a small independent space. And leaving her there is the best option he has right now, she will be safe from danger, and he will also level up to avenge her from the people who harmed her. He leaves from there and to achieve this goal of his he will need to upgrade first. Ling Lu's wound starts to heal, because of the healing properties of that realm. Next, some forest called Shenyan Forest. He is killing all the birds of that forest. They warns him that if he kills them their monster king will not let him go. But he doesn't give a f about their monster king. He finishes most of the flying monsters of that forest. The system informs him that he has gained two experiences from killing those monsters. He notices that if he wants to break through to the next realm, the Yuanwu realm, he must first open a Yuanli pool. He adds some points to his skill. Ancient God, it has already reached to 50 which means he can speak with all living being and to open the Yuanli pool. He still needs to reach 100 experiences point of this ancient God. This shocked him because that many points is just too much. Just to reach 50 it took him so many days and so many points. Then suddenly an attack comes at him, but he manages to dodge it. This surprises him because the system didn't warn him about anyone's presence there. The system then informs him that a second level of Yuan Wu realm monster has appeared. This shocked he because the monster is the monster king of that forest. He escapes from there to essay his life. The monster king attacks him with his fire breath. The attack was so strong that he couldn't even dodge it. And the monster king is there because that little turtle has been killing so many of his subordinates this past few days. And he is here to get revenge for them. He asks his master to use the power of transfer to save him. This shocked the king that little guy disappeared right in front of him. Then he remembers what that little turtle said before leaving. He asked his master to transfer him to somewhere. This shocked the monster king because if there is a master who can use the transfer technique, then he is f up because those master who can use transfer technique are very powerful. He also escapes from there in hurry. He comes back to his divine realm, sits next to his woman saying her husband almost die out there today. Then he gets shocked to see that Leng Lu's wound have healed. He wonders if this is because of the Gixu divine realm healing power and if that's the case, he wonders if she can be resurrected. 
Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed it then please do 1k likes for part 2 and subscribe to the channel for more amazing content like this. And stay tuned because next part is going to be a big kaboom.